guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going on a little trip around my hometown of Brisbane and I want to show you the best photography spots. So let's go! Every place that you see today is not only a perfect photography location, but a great place to visit as well. We're at the first location now, which is a great spot for a sunset shoot, as we've got the city behind us here and the sun goes down over this way. So if there's some cloud in the sky, you can usually pick up some colour here. It's also a great location for sunrise as well, as the sun rises over this way. Uh, so we're going to go down the bottom now and find some old jetties. Kangaroo Point Cliffs is a perfect place for a day out. At the eastern end you'll find Joey's Cafe, while at the western end is the Stone Rotunda, which is a great spot to capture a selfie with the city behind, or to hide from a storm and capture some lightning. To get to the bottom of the cliffs, you'll need to negotiate a steep set of narrow stairs. You'll need to watch out for keen exercise enthusiasts who love to run up and down these stairs also. We're down the bottom of Kangaroo Point Cliffs now and this is my favourite jetty that I love to photograph. So this one's great for a sunset, as I said before up the top, the sun goes down over there and you can get some nice colour behind the city. To the left of the bottom of the stairs, you will find a rocky outcrop, which is another fantastic photography spot. So this is a really great sunrise location, um, as the sunrise is just over there. Um, so you can get the city in shot, and a lot of people do selfies on this rock here, as it's a really nice foreground with the city behind. I'm at Captain Burke Park at the moment, which is just around from Kangaroo Point. And this is another great place to come for photography, especially at night. I'm actually filming a night photography video right now, so I'll link that above here so you can watch that one. And this is a great spot to come um, if you're in Brisbane for a walk along the river here. There's some barbecues over there if you wanna have a picnic and a barbecue. There's some beautiful twinkling lights in the trees here. The story bridge behind us is all lit up and you've got the city lights here. So another great spot in Brisbane to check out and another great photography spot as well.
South Bank now, this is another great spot for photography. Um, as you've got the wheel up down that end of South Bank and you've got the beach with city views, which is a really cool feature about Brisbane. I don't think many other cities in the world have a beach in the city. Um, there's also, there's heaps of other great spots that you can photograph around here. Um, there's the river right there. So that's a great spot for sunset or sunrise. And it's just a really cool place to come if you're in Brisbane. You can have a barbecue with friends and family. You can grab a bike or a scooter and ride along the river. You can grab a blanket and just chill out on the grass. Um, so yeah, if you're in Brisbane, don't forget to check out South Bank. weekends there's the collective markets which has an eclectic mix of original art fashion unique gifts as well as food stalls South Bank also has heaps of great restaurants and cafes to eat at location is Mount Kutha, about a 10 minute drive from the city centre. It's just a few twists and turns up Sir Samuel Griffith Scenic Drive to the lookout. Here you'll find a gift shop, a cafe, the Summit Restaurant and the most spectacular views of Brisbane. The Lookout is the perfect spot for a beautiful sunrise shot over the city or a gorgeous reverse sunset. And when the conditions are right, you can capture an epic fog shot. sunset as you can see here this jetty um, is really photogenic and the sun goes down right behind it here so it's the perfect spot um, to do sunset this old jetty used to have like wooden beams all across it a few years ago and it was really cool jetty but all, all the beams have fallen off now but it's still quite photogenic with the poles and things like that but there's some trees over that way as well that you can photograph out this way and there's a really good fish and chip shop over there if you like fish and chips. It's quite a nice place to come for a day trip as well. Wellington Point now and this is a great spot for sunrise and sunset. Um, on this side where the jetty is behind me here is obviously sunrise as it faces east so this is a really nice spot to come and photograph 
in the morning when the sun's rising, you can get either side of the jetty or straight down the middle and it looks pretty good. And then you can walk over to the other side, which is not far at all, and do sunset over that side because that faces west. So you get the westerly sunset. Um, King Island is over that side as well. So when the tide is low, you can walk all the way out to King Island, um, which is a nice walk. There's also some trees around the corner on that side, some little ones in the water that you can use as foreground interest for sunset as well. Twenty minutes north of the city is Shawncliff. There is an awesome jetty here that is a fantastic spot for capturing some pretty amazing sunrises. For the non-photographer, it's a great day out or to go fishing off the jetty or a Sunday afternoon stroll. I love coming here on a Sunday to have a picnic on the grass at sunset with some fish and chips. People also love to walk their dogs here like I do with my little girl Ella. Hey guys, so we're at our last location now. We're at New Farm, Wilson's Outlook, which is a really popular spot for sunset. The reason it's so popular here is because you've got Story Bridge with the city behind it and the sunsets behind that. So it's a really good chance of getting a beautiful photo with color in the sky behind it. You can also go down the bottom here as well to Howard Street Wolves, and there's a set of stairs down there that you can get a great composition. Um, looking straight at the Story Bridge with the city behind it as well. So that's another great spot to shoot from. Howard Smith Wolves is the newest it spot in Brisbane with lots of awesome cafes, bars and function venues right on the river. It's also a popular place for people to walk and jog as the floating walkway joins New Farm to the city through this point. I love to jog along here in the afternoon. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and learnt a few new spots that you can photograph around Brisbane. If you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so and I'll see you again next week for another video. Bye!